Okay, let's try this scene again and not waste two crossbow shots. Let's wait for it to come to us, because if we try coming it to hit, it's gonna... Ah! How dare you! Yeah, uh... Save these crossbow... Cro yeah, cross gu cross gun. Crossbow. Another green herb over here. And I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use the one that we got that I... Like, uh... Alright. Alright, now the first... Now, going in here, you're going to see a lot of zombies. Now, this is going to be... This game is a little bit different from... Oh, wait. We're, I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, I, I usually hug these walls. I don't know why. Alright. Well, actually, I do know why. It's because of that one scripted event that's pretty stupid um all right there's nothing in here in jill's kit in claire's case but this note and i really don't feel like reading this all right it just says you guys can read this if you feel like it i um, you just pause and read it normally i read these but i really don't feel like reading these right now just just know that chief irons is here um, they just talk about, like, ammunition caches have been moved conveniently before the attack. Uh, talking about in order to get to weapon storage, you're going to need a card key and return the power. Um, and you'll see David Ford and talk about the liquors. Stuff like that. I, I really, I, normally I will read them, but right now I am too just tired. To actually read these, okay? I've read them far too many times out loud, and I've just had enough. So, I'm sorry. This is like the only episode. This is like the only sitting that I will actually not read them, okay? I apologize. Now, let's go through here, and uh, let's uh, not a lot of zombies. Okay. Now, oh, now you're gonna want a handgun. This is my strategy. I would recommend killing that chick with whatever bow gun ant boats you got left, because at that close to the range, she will die. And then just go go to this back corner and let all of them come to you and just shoot them all down as they come down here. This is the best strategy to conserve your bullets. There's one more. I can hear it. Don't fuck with me. Unfortunately, you can easily fuck up this strategy. Alright. Oh. You can easily fuck this strategy up, like I was saying. There we go. He died. Uh, some more green herbs. Yeah, like I said, they've already thrown like four green herbs at you at this meet at the beginning of the game. They kind of did that in Remake too, but you know, in Remake's case, it probably wasn't a smart idea to uh, pick them all up because of inventory and the fact that an item box was so far away from the beginning. All right, this is the dark room, and this is pretty much the equivalent of some handgun bullets in there. It's a hidden ammo cache, eh? like I was saying before. This room is pretty much the equivalent of the dark room. All right, let me let me show you why it's called the dark room because uh, you can find film throughout the game and you can develop it here. Um, uh, there should be some engravings. Yep, you get two instead of three in this game. Uh, every pickup, but um, this is pretty much gonna be you know that you know that uh thing in remake the under the stairs bit. Yeah, that's pretty much what what this is gonna be, except it's going. Yeah, this is the dark room is pretty much that. But uh, here's Operation Report Two. This one I haven't read out loud yet, so let's go. Early morning, two two thirty a.m. Zombies overrun the operation room, and another battle broke out. We lost four men, people, F four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapon cache and hope for our survival to continue to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewer through here. The only drawback is there's no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible danger. We know our chances of the sewers are slim, but anything's better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the doors 
the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever might may find it. Recorder, Ellie, and Edward. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I need to stop solid snaking it up. I have a problem of doing that. Alright, well, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna save. Oh yeah, by the way, um... Uh, over here. Uh... It's locked. A special kind of key is required. When you, uh, do the special costume thing with, like, a super zombie or whatever the fuck it is, and you get the special key, you can do... That's the room to get the special costumes, but it's... Like, in this game, it's not that simple. In Remake, you just have to kill... You just have to beat the game, like, once or twice with each character. Um, in this case, you have to do something related to a super zombie. It's, it's weird, and I don't want to go into detail. Alright, um... Alright, first, let's read this. Something is written on the mounting. A god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can reach the red soul. Okay. Now, alright, hold on. Before I do anything, here's another hidden ammo cache right here. This is one very easily missed, considering, um, that that's one very easily missed because, uh, there's not a camera angle showing you back there, so, yeah, that's, uh, one of the hidden ammo caches. And in, and in Jill's case, uh, Claire's case, I'm sorry, I, it's a bad habit, I have to break. In Claire's case, you have to, in Claire's case, sometimes, in, in Leon's case, there are some ammo caches that show up, but in Claire's case, some of them that appear in Leon's case don't show up in her case, so. That's the reason why that room back there with Operation Report 1 was uh, pretty much useless for Claire until later on, because, um, in Leon's case, you could go in there and get, like, some shotgun shells pretty early. In Claire's case, you can't really do that. But, yeah, just push the push the opposite statues into each other, and you get this red jewel. You're going to need two of these for a puzzle later on to get a key item, and you take the red jewel. Go through here, and uh, we're going to have to kill some more zombies. Like I said, this game is a little bit different than Remake. In this game, you get enough ammo. Oh, wait, no, that's only in Leon A. Like, I have beat, or, uh, just to let you guys know, I've beaten this game about four fucking times. Like, I've beaten this game a lot. I know this game pretty damn well. I know Remake pretty well, too. Three and, three, zero, and Code Veronica are, like, my, like, Code Veronica and three are my worst. Go in here to get the grenade launcher. And, uh, it starts off with six grenade rounds. These are various, various devices. It's supposed to be where they gather information. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, she's not, like, you know, part of the thing. A picture of the stars members. Yeah, this is the whole Bravo team and Alpha team. I'm not gonna, you know, bother telling you who's who because I can't. I can't really even tell myself. But uh, that I think th there's Barry, there's Wesker, there's Barry, there's Wesker, there's uh Brad, uh Joseph, Claire, uh, Cr Jill. Chris and Rico. Uh, I think I think that's Richard right there beside Wesker. I have no idea. I'm not. One of these is Forrest. I think that one there is Forrest, or it could be the guy above that guy. It, that guy there, I think, is Forrest, or it could be the guy above him. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of them. Yeah, don't examine it twice, Jill. Like um, like in uh, some cases, there's handgun bullets actually on this like little desk here. Appears to be a replica of a gun. Order is probably a member of the NRA. Why the NRA? Who knows, but, um, okay. Uh, this is Chris's station, and here's Chris's diary. You know, a diary. Um, I talked about the chief to, I talked to the chief again. Once again, he refused to listen to me. I know, I know for certain that Umbrella conducted t virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie, but the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Since the Brill employees, so many people in town, no one was willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing ran at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. With the help of Jill and Barry, I, fi Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and we have decided to fly into the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. And take the unicorn medal underneath his diary so we can go get a key from the main hallway. 
Now, this is uh, Chris's. This is uh, Destiny's Door and Tidy. Probably Frexy the owner's person. That's Chris. Picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. That is probably Claire. No, that's Barry's. I. No, that's that. That's probably Claire's. Um, here's Rebecca's. Here's Rebecca's, uh, Rebecca Chambers. You, you can't examine that. You can examine that in, uh... Alright, now, here's a... Here, um... Alright, here's a little hidden thing for you. Here, in order to get the secret film, you have to examine this trash, like, 800 times. I'm not going to do this, because this could take at least a minute. So...